In today's video, we're gonna show you exactly how to transition from tips to sculptured nails. Right now. Tracy. So wanna say it, don't you? What? Right now on the bit stuff. Right now. I do wanna say that, but we have to grow and we have to move past, you know, the old ways sometimes of doing things. Tracy, this is a fresh new me. And I feel good and energetic about this topic. Ouch. That actually hurt. <laughs> I have a bruised that made knee. Me feel good. I know, I know. The things I do for cheap entertainment. Cheap entertainment. Speaking of cheap entertainment, just kidding. I was gonna talk about Greg, but we're not gonna go there. Um, let's uh, let's talk about transitioning from someone who does tips, 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 tips to sculpts. Now, we have talked about this um, kind of like generally. You know, and you went through this transition of tips and yep. sculpts, but I really want to get into the detail of how in the hell you do this because if you have a clientele that you've got on tips, okay, but you want to move into sculpts for whatever your reasons are, right? I mean, it could be that you're getting damn bored and like your career is yeah. like at this sort of standstill and you want to get into sculpts which there are more options and then there's the art there's all kinds of stuff but let's just say you want to do it with a clientele um it's challenging because you can't just show up one day and like hey guys everybody's on sculpts and on top of that like you're learning so at what point do you finally like say go and i'm gonna start doing this well i can can show up and say you could. Yeah. Is that the way to go, though? Well, here, here's the thing. If you have a clientele, it's not like you're doing full sets. You shouldn't have to be doing full sets all the time. Okay. So right, of course. They're really probably not even going to miss a beat. Okay. They're just going to notice that you're doing things a little different. And in, in, in what ways that would be for me was uh, I'm transitioning you from pink and whites to a glitter. Uh, well, I'm going to snap them off and re form your free edges instead of taking it all the way down to the tip and then and then maybe having to reapply a tip it's going to go faster but it's it's not something i would think my main clientele would notice too much okay um it's like the newer customers that come in yeah, well well they, you, you wouldn't have to tell them anything you wouldn't have to tell them yeah so for me it was repairs that's where i started like it was because I had a full clientele okay. and, they, and they, you know, so it wasn't a, it just wasn't a huge big deal. Um, now it was a huge big deal to me. Right. I was more of the problem than anything because it was just, um, the stress of, you know, that's why I did tips. I form stressed me out. I wasn't confident in them. But this is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. That what you're describing is literally why somebody's watching this video right now. Cause it, it's probably scary for them too, yeah, you know, to kind of talk through that. I think it's more scary for us than yeah. it is the clients. The clients are, the, my clients at least were pretty like, oh, whatever. Yeah. You're doing something different. Okay, whatever. Why are you doing that? Well, it's going to look better when we snap it off and do your free edge and the glitter. And like, oh, okay, cool. You know, so that was easy. It was me going, oh my God, I got to, I got to, yeah. I got to. Um, and so I started just by doing uh, repairs. Okay. So like give an example. What, when you say that, I, I don't totally understand what, what do you mean? Like that's how you started to. So you have nails on. Yeah. You, you know, you're my customer. You come in and you're like, oh man, Tracy, I broke a nail. So you come in and instead of reapplying a tip and you, doing you your sculpt nail, it out, I would sculpt it out because so, it's a, it's one nail. I see. Less pressure, less pressure. So like, you can kind of, yeah. I mean, not that you're going to take your time, but you're allowing yourself, okay, look, this is just one nail I have to do sculpt. Just one. Right. I only have to get through this one or right. two, whatever it is. Um, and then that that was that was helpful, you know, to um to transition for me at least. And I just kind of gave myself a timeline of okay, we're not using tips anymore. Uh, we're we're just gonna go for it. And then I started using them on myself, sculpting myself. That was also very helpful because that helped me learn um, thickness and things like that. So how long would you do that for? Like, th I think that's a great strategy. It's really smart because you're right. It Thanks. totally, <laughs> the one and only time you'll get a compliment from your boss. Habib. <clears throat> that's the little chime that we're going to use every time I give Habib you a compliment. Habib it out. 
exactly have you been and out <laughs> um how like it's it is really good because it does take that pressure off and it allows you to like you just get used to it right like of, of doing it on a real person which is huge yeah, but like, uh, how long how long so how long like would you were you doing that and then filling your clients well i mean when you fill somebody with tips you're shortening it and you're just filling it with acrylic mm -hmm. kind of or the same gel. or gel but isn't that what you do if they have full yeah. sculpture that's why i didn't ha i just i didn't understand my my hiccup like i i that 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 um D don't you do that let me ask you i'm sorry to interrupt but yeah. but, but i just want to understand if you're doing is the only difference between tips and sculpts the full set? Because then when you fill... It's all the same. Eventually, you're going to fill those tips out, though, right? And, and they're going to be... And natural nail grows, and it's their natural nail. And it's their natural nail. Yeah. In the same way with... So that's therefore kind of... Yeah. Uh, it's one and the same. Filling okay. is the same. It's going to be the same, no matter what you're doing. If it's full set of sculpts you're filling or a full set of, of tips you're filling um it's one and the same now what you just said though is kind of the difference is the natural nail keeps growing out right and right. you push push the tip out and now okay if i want to do create a new cool look if i want you know because when i first started it was all pink and whites pretty much then now we transition to glitter and stuff and we want to see the glitter we want to see the cool the from back from the back side from the front side mm. so either i had to you know either they had to have clear tips on and the clear tip wasn't growing out i see right or their natural nails grown out and now i need to file all the way to their natural nail but that's not going to be as pretty and i'm dealing with their natural nail and how it's growing and how it's shaping so then i would have to remove everything and reapply a tip right to get the look that i was going for but i didn't if, want to do that but if you're doing sculpts the natural nail grows it does we just zip it off and reform oh. super super easy but isn't that the same thing with with tips eventually the natural nail grows and yes. there's no more tip and you just do the same thing oh but you're but if you're doing tips you're reapplying the tip i got i'm sorry i see the da then ah, light bulb has gone it. off so i see yeah so I sculpting see. really kind of opened up a way better world for me as far as what my art was going to look like and i wasn't dealing with my customers natural nails or i wasn't have to i Okay, I gotta remove right, everything. Right. And I was doing tips back then, so I was soaking them off. You know, I didn't Holy know how to electric moly. file that well. Yeah. I kind of did a sculpting and electric file all in one whack. My my clients did kind of think I lost my mind because I went from <laughs> Jesus tipping, right? Not a big deal. They didn't care if I tipped or sculpted. You know, you know, eventually they cared because they realized I got a better look with a sculpt. Yeah. But I did all hand filing pretty much, unless you did pink and whites. I cut in smile lines with that. So now I'm using electric file. Oh, and I'm making a freaking mess because I used to be obsessive about my process. So you and were then like Greg Solo comes to the town. <laughs> Boo. Boo. Just kidding. <laughs> and my clients at that point were like, okay, there's no tips. Um, you're making a hot mess and you're pulling the electric file out, which you told me was bad for me. Right. Before you were trained. Right, 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 right. So that time period was a, was, lot of, was a lot of change. It was intense. Yeah. More for me than my clients, you know. They, but uh, like I said, the sculpting, the, the, that didn't bother them. But it, it just was until I figured out what you just said about a fill is the exact same. Right, right. Whether you're doing it. And then the the moment of clarity when I was struggling with tip uh, forms and Greg's like, why is it it's just, you're creating a guide. Yeah. It's the guide. It's just like a tip. It's like, like a tip. Yeah. There's, he's no strength to a tip. Right. So why are you stressing about your thickness and all that? It all has to be the same thickness. I'm like. Yeah. So you would do repairs. Yep. Okay. And then did you then like say, hey, there's a client that's coming in. Normally on this client, when they want a new look, I have to take them down, reapply the tips. I'm going to go for it on this one client and I'm going to go 
hey, there's some other options here. Actually, it's going to look cool. Cause I, like, did you explain it to them or you just... Not much of an explainer. Yeah, that's actually smart. You don't want to do that, right? No. Nope. Because then like, it gets too... This is going to look way better. Check yeah. this out. So... so you just sweat. And, and then, so did you do that? Just like this one client, were you still doing tips with the other ones and like, okay, let me just focus on this one or was it like, okay, I'll start with repairs for a couple months. There was a certain point that I was able to do that transition because again, I could take it down to their natural nail, which is what I typically did. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like I would, you know, every once in a while I had to remove and retip them. So it, it gave me a buffer of a couple months. Okay. Of where I was, where I could still do the removing down to their natural nail or the tip or the random repair where I sculpted, now we're gonna slowly start to have to transition. I'm gonna pick a beeb and I'm gonna I'm gonna just we're we're doing a snap off technique today and we're mm. gonna cut you up cut it down and, and redo it. So it wasn't like everybody hit at once and yeah. I had to make a decision. Um, I was able to transition. How long would you say that transition was from let's say where everybody was four you months. know four months. Wow. That's that doesn't seem that that, that long. Yeah, so felt like a lifetime at the time. Because <laughs> it's four months yeah. of like sweating it. And... It's better than what I did to Katie. What did you do to Katie? Well, I was a distributor for your guys' product. Right. So she kept on ordering and she wanted to be a mentor. She wanted to be she a mentor to, for She wanted to work with us, right? Yeah. So I showed up one day, I gave her a box of tips that she ordered and I said, that's your last one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because she wanted to. And and then. That's how she had to transition. No. Yeah. Is that true, but actually? Call her. She'll tell you. And so she had to learn sculpts. She had to learn sculpts. Last box of tips. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Because you loved her. It's called tough love, guys. Tough love. <laughs> and I'm evil. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the other part. Can't forget that part. Um, it worked for her. She does beautiful sculpts. <clears throat> she does amazing sculpts. Yeah. But ironically now, I know she's been playing with tips she, right now. She's right, been full, doing the full covers. She's been doing the full Though, covers. Though she did sculpt herself the other day. She's like, I do miss that. The sculpting? Yeah. She, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's about having options. That's that's it though, right? right? Yeah. Full The full cover, you know, I, maybe I was a little more against it when it first came out. I mean, I, I used full cover tips for all the, f the fashion fancy shows. shows. Yeah. Um, but like... Then I'm like, I came around to it. Like, you know what? This is great for a temporary set or or a fast set. Or, But I have a deep love of sculpts. And yeah. I, I think there's a place for everything yeah. in in um, our nail art arsenals. Totally. And I think that's like a huge key is I feel like doing this today, you know, and then being able to just do it. Well, people... I think you've asked me when you when you sculpt, do you do your free edge or I'm like it depends. Depends. Depends on what. Right. My mood. Exactly. I really did. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I felt like doing it. Sometimes I dropped all the pinks and then came back and did all the free edges. Sometimes I did it as I went. It just just playing it's kind of right just experimenting what spoke and to me at that yeah, moment is yeah. what I would do. Yeah, that's so interesting, and I think that's why like you know tips have a very specific look yes. right there's like a there's those like super straight sidewall you know look which they're beautiful like they look really good there, there's a lot of people do them and they're, they're nice I just think that you know having options in the nail game is so so vital and crucial and for that reason yeah. you know like you should be able to do acrylic sculpts or gel sculpts whatever whatever it is that you do everything to do everything well i was i think i've talked about this i was very fortunate at the time when it came to tips when i first started out because um sculpts were considered old school so and crazy. nobody wanted them that's so crazy and that yeah that's crazy. so i mean it was okay that it took me six years to come around to sculpts because it, they were just finally coming back. but yeah people were like oh you sculpt you know that oh so old school yeah yeah, sculpting changed the look of my nails, though. I had a full clientele, a great clientele on tips. Um, but, man, it sure changed the look of my nails. When you did... So, when you were rebalancing, when it was time to rebalance your tips after they grew... Yeah. You had to take everything down and put new tips on, right? Well, it depends. Were they grown out? and Were they still... The natural nail was nice. It wasn't sh just shifting or changing. The tip was still there. I could electrify it all the way down. To and the, then and then just re, I see. Build it up. Yeah, rebuild it up. But you still don't get that same look. Yeah. 
Um, and then, you know, for me, the C curve plus the right. blue poppage and all the different issues that come would tips. come around with tips that, you know, I just found sculpting was better, but uh, yeah, you could, you can rebalance with tips, but that does get to a point. You're like, I can't just cut a tip off, tip off and reapply it. It, mm. you have to take it down where the natural nail is exposed right. so you can attach. Attach the tip, so then, then to redo it, right? So you're pretty so. much, and if you're not elect, uh, electric filing, then you're soaking yeah, and removing everything. Which is more time, it is more effort in, in, in the nail game, right? When you're on, when it, it's all about maintenance, which is what we talk yeah. about all the time. Time is money, um, and then having more options in terms of nail art, and even having like that cleaner look of like the color coming off the bottom of the nails, right? Those things matter. And ultimately, I don't know, I think you can make more money just with the different options, especially with the time part of it. If, if, you're, if you're cutting time, you, you have the opportunity to make more money. I, yeah, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, duh, duh, Habib. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna say something and I'm like, no, duh. <laughs> oh, I thought you were, I thought that was directed no. at me. <laughs> Oh. Well, it could. It, well, no, I it just, should have been. There was nothing more to expand. I was like, I was trying to get more You're all fancy, and then I'm just like, no, nah, that's it. If you are on tips um, and you are looking to trans transition into acrylics, I hope this was helpful. I think for me it was to understand sort of your journey, Trace, and then also the fact that it took four months was a lot shorter. I thought you were going to say over a 12 month period. It was gonna take that long. No, that's what I, I would I have in my head. Uh, jump in. Kind of, yeah, dive right in. Just, yeah, uh, it kind of gave me that transition time where clients were still good and I could let your file down. But there came to a point like, it's yeah, super it's time slim. to go. Yeah, it's time to go. Not as bad as Katie though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cut and gone. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I hope this helped in your nail journey. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel.